This video is to show you how to upgrade your 2011 Mac Mini's hard drive. This model that I have here is the mid-tier level. It's the uh, Core i5 2.5 GHz. What I purchased is this OCZ Vertex 3 uh, hard drive that will replace my main drive. I've also got as an extra drive this Western Digital. Uh, it's a one terabyte blue drive. Now they make two models of this and this is the 9.5 millimeter height model. It's the WD-10 JPVT uh, hard drive. And then in order to add that drive, I have this cable. I got this from We Love Max. Uh, it's called the Apple part number 9229560, also known as the hard drive flex cable bottom. And then uh, this Mac comes with four gigabytes of RAM, so I'm going to replace that with this eight gigabyte set of modules. The first step is going to be to remove the bottom cover, and you can see here there are two dots. We're going to slide the cover from the solid dot to the hollow dot. Turn that there, and then flip it over. Just pops right off. Here's our first look inside the Mac Mini. Our next step is to remove the fan. There we go. And correction to this video to remove the fan cable, don't pull it toward you as I'm doing is that can strip the cable wires out of the connector. Instead, lift the cable up by wedging a nylon pry tool or small flathead screwdriver under the connector and popping it up. I used a T6 torque screw to remove the fan. Now I'm gonna replace my T6 with a T9. And remove the section that holds the Wi-Fi antenna. We'll remove this covering by using a T6 Torx to remove this screw here. Then we can pull this section out. Then the Wi-Fi can be removed. Can pull forward this cable. I like to use a small screwdriver. Gently pop that out. This here is the cable connection port. So we're going to pop that up. There we go. That allows us to gently pull out the hard drive, revealing some empty space. Now I take my Western Digital Blue Drive, I attach the cable we purchased, and I've put these screws in the sides so that they align into the holes on the wall there in order to keep the drive attached. I've also put these two screws here to help provide a little spacer, uh, keep them a little bit unscrewed to provide a spacer with the other hard drive. We're going to slide that in, keeping in mind to push these cables on the right all the way to the right. Make sure that they don't get snagged.
Now I'm going to take the original Toshiba hard drive and gently remove the protective sheet on it. Then I'm going to remove the SATA cable. Now I will put that onto the new SSD. There we go. that back on just like it was. There we go. Now what I like to do is I took this other protective sheet from another laptop. I'm going to apply that to the back here. I need to remove the side screws of the original Toshiba drive and put them into the new OCZ drive. We're going to insert that, making sure again to keep the cables to the right. From snagging. Make sure the drive is aligning properly. Sometimes gravity helps with that. All right. Next, we're going to attach the cables to the motherboard or the logic board as Apple calls it. Now we can reattach things. If the hard drive screws don't align perfectly, you can move the hard drive slightly. Compared to the hard drive replacement, the RAM replacement will be pretty easy. Just pop the RAM chips. It's actually described right there. Then we insert the new RAM chips. Pushing it in and then pushing down. There we go, pushing it in and pushing them down. Continue to put the items back together. This one may at first appear a little tricky. Um, this bottom area needs to actually slide underneath the enclosure. And then you'll see the holes line up here. We'll reattach the fan connector. Slide it in and just push it down. You don't need to slide it in from the back, just lay it on top and push it down. And 
and then we'll screw in the remaining screws. Replace the back cover. And we're done.